In this screencast, we're going to show you how to use the AWS Toolkit for Eclipse to easily configure an Elastic Beanstalk environment for remote debugging. Before we start, make sure that you've downloaded the Toolkit and that you've signed up for Amazon Elastic Beanstalk. Point your update manager in Eclipse at aws.amazon.com eclipse to get started quickly. First, we'll find an environment that we want to debug. Here's one that I created ahead of time using the travel log sample. I can see in the server's view that the environment isn't currently configured for remote debugging. And in the server editor, you can see that remote debugging is not enabled. To change that, let's select debug as on the project that we want to debug, in this case, the travel log sample. The toolkit detects that the environment isn't yet configured for remote debugging and asks if you want to restart it. This will trigger a restart of your application container, so make sure that the environment you're connecting to can handle a little downtime. We need to tell the toolkit which port to connect on, so choose one that isn't blocked by your local firewall. The toolkit will handle opening that port up on your EC2 security group. Now the toolkit will process this deployment like any other. While we're waiting for it to happen, let's go ahead and set up some breakpoints in our application code. But first, it's important to note that we should configure our health check URL to not hit any of our breakpoints. Here we see the healthcheck.jsp sample that ships with the travel log sample. It's a really simple JSP file that's completely disconnected from the rest of the application code. In the server editor, we've configured our environment to check at this URL rather than the default. If we don't do this, the health check process will hit our breakpoint, and Elastic Beanstalk will decide that the instance is unhealthy, removing it from the Elastic Load Balancer. Let's put a breakpoint in the data accessor class the travel log uses to fetch journal entries from Amazon SimpleDB. Now that our deployment is complete, we can switch over to the debug perspective and see that we've connected to the EC2 instance in Beanstalk, running our remote JVM. From here, we can debug the running application just like it was local. But because this is over the internet, this process can be very slow depending on your location, so you should consider this to be a last resort to reproduce issues that you can't figure out locally. That's it for remote debugging on Elastic Beanstalk. To learn more, visit our documentation and forums.